What's up, gang? I'm working on Big Bass Wheel Pro. Uh, this is just kind of a, an update and a follow-through for a repair that I did last week. Um, it was The game was booting to a kernel panic error. Let's see if I can get this for you. Here's the guide and the troubleshooting. And it says here, display shows kernel panic unable to mount root. And that's basically the error that I was getting. It's a little bit different. And it says the three different fixes. I'm not sure if A is A or how that goes, but it's either the flash drive is unplugged or faulty, game's not recognizing the monitor, or faulty or loose RAM. Now, when I called the manufacturer, they gave me a tip to get past that stage, and I'll show you what, I, what that was. So in here, this is the motherboard. There, this is the one I have. There's, there's more than one. Ours is... Um, Big Bass Wheel Pro, but there's two pins here. Well, actually, there's there's a set of nine pins. There's five on top and then four on bottom. Let's see if I can get this. You see, they're marked in red. See those two pins on the they're in the bottom four on the left two. Now, if you short those two wires, it will go past the air and let you play the game. Now, I had to do this about six months ago, and uh, it. It did not, well, it fixed it, but it, it once again didn't, uh, it started to error out again, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I'm trying to focus at the same time. Um, can't zoom in. Um, so basically, uh, what I, I called them after I couldn't jumper this anymore, and that was no longer working. Uh, here's the RAM that could have been faulty, and, and here's the flash drive that could have been faulty. And when I called them, and I, I don't want to blame them because it, it's easy to just say replace everything when you're you're in a service department, but they said I needed to replace the whole motherboard. So they sent me a whole new motherboard, a new RAM, and a new thumb drive. The problem was the thumb drive was the wrong version for my game, so I couldn't get the game to play. Well, actually, the game played, but the, the thumb drive that I had had the wrong... Uh, wheel amounts so whenever you would spin then all of a sudden say you got 50 it would say like 15 so that that wasn't much help so I I called them back and they said that it was basically the wrong thumb drive and that they were going to send me out a new thumb drive so I got the new thumb drive in and it turns out it was for Chuck E. Cheese so that definitely wasn't going to work. None of the ticket amounts match. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese only gives away, you know, four or five tickets for each spin. So I called them back again, got a third thumb drive, put it in. It was the right amounts. Everything worked fine. Um, but my, my thoughts were, since our old thumb drive didn't work with the new board, it's possible that our board worked and just needed a new thumb drive. So that's what I did. I took all of the new stuff out. Uh, repackage it all back up because it didn't have the proper thumb drive put our board back in new thumb drive and everything was fine so if you come across this this same problem you know it was probably 400 450 bucks for the whole kit and caboodle and it's probably like 25 30 bucks for the the thumb drive so if you run across this problem try try jumpering those two wires let me see if I can get a better shot of it again it's Try to focus. It's those two pins right there that are marked in red. So try that first. That'll get you going for a little while. And on my recommendation, if it doesn't work after that, then go ahead and order yourself a new thumb drive. And then in worst case scenario, if that doesn't work, then you can go ahead and order the whole kit and caboodle like we did. Anyway, I just wanted to document this so that I could remember for myself in eight months, six, eight months, whenever this game goes down again, I will know exactly what the issue is. All right, thanks for watching.